Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here. This is going to be a past life reading for my beautiful collective. So please take what resonates. Whatever doesn't feel free to throw it out someone else's message. Uh, but be open to it because you never know this. There might be a message here for you guys. All right. And if this reading resonates and it aligns with you, feel free to message me on any of my social medias to book a more in-depth reading for you guys. But off the bat, I did get Egypt. Um, and I also got Asia. So some of you could really, really resonate with Egypt. Maybe you feel very drawn to Egypt since a very young age. You feel very connected. You may even miss Egypt in the sense you ha might have past memories or dreams of being in Egypt, okay? Uh, you could have visited Egypt or it's on your bucket list to go to Egypt, all right? Um, some of you... Um, even if you didn't, like you weren't exactly from Egypt, you went there to work in a past life or you were enslaved or something like that. I feel like you kind of rooted yourself in Egypt and ended up staying in Egypt and made it your home or possibly, you know, had children there or married, whatever this may be. Okay, so let's see um, what I'm getting for the collective. Some of you in this lifetime could also be cancers. Uh, zodiac sign cancers some of you could also be taurus i'm also getting pisces for some of you okay i'm getting capricorn as well i'm really feeling heavily uh pisces cancer taurus yeah some of you might have been in prison and enslaved and that's how you got to Egypt. For some of you others, you were in Egypt and you were imprisoned or enslaved. What else is this? Okay, so some of you could also really resonate with Atlantis, all right? There might be a love-hate uh, for the ocean, the water. Like, you like it, then maybe you're kind of scared of the unknown what did i tell you earlier about asia some of you could really resonate with asia as well all right anything else yeah okay so ships could have been in, in, involved here somehow okay the ocean again it feels like i'm giving you two readings here like two different readings so take whichever one resonates some of you atlantis the ocean sea life could have really been of significance others this might be you know egypt what else tell me more about past life what else some of you could have been like healers or mystics or something in egypt okay some of you could have been really sought after like you had to kind of keep this a secret but maybe you helped like um deliver children or there could have been something like that um Maybe you were kind of like a, a in a sense, like a, a medicine man or something, or woman, whatever, um, in Egypt. Like you're very spiritual, very mystical, and I feel like that has transmuted to this lifetime here. Some of you, there could be something going on with your ear, okay? Like um, you may have, you might have had ear problems in the past, or you have them now, um, but there might be an issue with someone's ears or hearing, okay? Anything else? Anything else about the past life? Anything else about the past? Oh, a few fell. Okay, there we go. I think... All right. Ah. Okay, so I'm getting a few things. Um, let's start off here. S some of you, again, you could have really rooted yourself in Egypt, okay, with the trees. You might have found love there, started a family there for some of you. For others... There could have been an authority figure here that did condemn you to slavery, okay? What else? Uh, I'm telling you guys, you were very sought after. People saw you as some type of healer. And again, I feel like this might be, in this lifetime, the same thing. You might be some sort of healer, reader, psychic, medium, spiritual person, okay? Um... Feel like people would go for you in secrecy for help okay i think there was a lot of hurt in the past and now in this life path this lifetime you've learned to forgive okay um 
this, I'm also getting like, I'm getting like heavy infidelity energy. So some of you may, um, maybe you feel like in this lifetime, um, somebody always cheats on you or maybe you're the one who has the problem with infidelity um take it how it resonates i just got that right now okay guys trans transportation okay so some of you yeah definitely moved around here okay i'm telling you i kind of don't necessarily feel like you were exactly from egypt maybe you're surrounded like surrounding somewhere surrounding in egypt and then they brought you to egypt okay some of you in this lifetime, you might um, have something to do with uh, the health industry. What is this? Okay, some of you are very in tune with your uh, divine masculine, divine feminine energy because you might have been the opposite sex in the past life here. Uh, there was a lot of lessons that you've learned uh, in the past and I feel like you've taken those lessons and you're doing something with them now you've learned and that's what happens when we reincarnate it's we're here to learn and then we transmute that to our next life some of you were like commun uh, communal living so you might have been living with a lot of people especially if you were like enslaved or something that they had you working I'm telling you, some of you are definitely like medicine man or woman. You help people somehow spiritually. Um, and this is probably what you do now in some kind of regard, at least. What is this? Uh, you might have helped like uh, birthing children. People might have asked you to help them with birthing children. Some of you may be very artistic. Okay, so in the past life, maybe um, you or like a musician or you sang or whatever this is or you're just very artistic in any dynamic you could be artists or whatever um and some of you definitely are in this lifetime even if you can't for say sing or really play an instrument you're very drawn to that you feel like you know um it's a big part of of who you are your identity or you use it to soothe yourself um I'm telling you, you left people behind there. Some of you could have definitely married, had children there. What else? What else? What else from my beautiful collective? What did I tell you earlier um, about, I felt like maybe you always felt like there was some sort of infidelity. So there could be karmic relationships now that are still coming in. Because I felt like either you were the one who was all had like infidelity issues or someone would always like kind of cheat on you so maybe that could have been um something that's happened now in this lifetime karmic people around you some of you could really resonate with astronomy astrology the stars okay again very like mystical energy it could also be an aquarius with significance okay what else what else ah look we got egypt i'm telling you um, let me get some of these. Tell me a little bit more about the past life. A little bit more about the past life. We have the moon. Okay, so I feel like there was a lot of stuff you had to keep secret in a past life. It was like this stuff here, all this mystical stuff. You had to keep hush hush. And speaking of uh, Pisces and Cancer with the moon here as well, there was a lot of stuff that you had to keep hush hush. You're very mystical, very spiritual. And if they found out, you'd be in a lot of trouble here. Okay, guys. Anything else? Oh, you went through so much hurt and pain in the past. So much hurt and stress. I feel like you were always on your feet. Like, it was like walking on eggshells. But there's justice. Justice came in in this past life. And this new life, I'm sorry. Things are definitely going to turn in your favor. Like, now you have the upper hand in this lifetime with the world. Okay? Because you've gone through so much pain. And this is Spirit's way of granting you love and kind of reimbursing you this new life. <laughs> Some of you may still be holding on to past hurts or some of you may even battle with like um, depression or stuff like that. Um, but I feel like this has a lot to do with 